In this video, I'm going to describe everything you need to know about kidney cysts. First of all, kidney cysts are extremely common and generally nothing to worry about. Let's start with just a cartoon picture of the kidneys. These are the kidneys over here. They're attached to the biggest blood vessels in the body, the aorta and the vena cava, and blood is circulating through the kidneys constantly on each side, and the kidneys filter the blood. And they make urine, which travel down these tubes called the ureters, all the way down to the bladder. And it's very common for people to develop cysts in the kidney. And a cyst is basically a small fluid bubble. About one in 10 humans has a kidney cyst. And when you're in your 60s, or, uh, you know, maybe as high as 40%. And, uh, a doctor by the name of Bosniak came up with a classification system back in 1986. The big picture is most cysts are benign, meaning normal. Rarely, you can have cancerous cysts. And that's why you may be uh, seeing your doctor about the fact that you have a cyst. Now, the opposite of a cyst is solid. We're not talking about solid growths or masses in the kidney. That's a completely different topic. We're talking about cysts which are fluid-filled bubbles. And what Bosniak did is he classified cysts into four categories. For some reason, we always use Roman numerals. Category one, two, three, and four. Ones and twos are clearly benign, nothing to worry about. Three is sort of indeterminate in the middle, and four is clearly cancerous. So they have this in-between category called 2F, and F stands for follow it over time. And these are considered probably benign, but the radiologist and the urologist want to uh, get another picture some, some amount of time down the road. So what's the chance of cancer for these different categories of cysts? Type 1 and 2 are never cancerous. Type 3, about 50% of the time, and type 4, about 90% of the time. This in-between category where we follow it, the two Fs, if they're stable over many years, pretty low chance of cancer, around 17%. If they start to get more complicated and they get bumped up to a higher category, most of those are cancerous, about 85%. So let's go into a little bit more detail about what each type of cyst is. Type 1 is basically just a simple bubble. It's a very smooth circle, and it's not complicated at all. Um, now... In order to figure out what the other types are, I need to define a couple of terms. First of all, what's a septum? Imagine your kids blow bubbles and a bunch of the bubbles stick to each other and there's walls within this one giant cyst. Those walls are called septum. The other thing you need to understand is what does it mean for something to enhance either on an MRI or a CAT scan? Enhancement is when uh, the cyst has a certain amount of brightness or the wall or a septum has a certain amount of brightness. And then we give contrast and it lights up even brighter. That's called enhancement. Moving on. So type twos might have a thin hairline septum. Either that or also small cysts that start out bright before the contrast and don't get any brighter. You can have calcium deposits and there's a few other variations, but type two cysts are just a little bit complicated. 2F, the wall is a little bit thick and it might enhance a little bit, but the wall is still smooth and the radiologist wants to follow it over time. As we move on to type three, the wall or the septum is thicker, greater than four millimeters, and that wall enhances. It might be a little bit irregular, either the outer wall of the cyst or the septum itself. Type 4, although it's a cyst, actually has a solid area called a nodule within the cyst itself. And that solid part, depicted right here, enhances. So what do we do about all these different categories? Type 1s and 2s, since there's no concern for cancer, they don't become 3s and 4s. We don't need to follow them up at all. We don't care if they get bigger. We can essentially don't need to look at them ever again. 2F, remember, is sort of the radiologist is on the fence. 
they want to see how this is going to behave over time. And so two Fs, we're going to follow them, which means we're going to monitor the with, with imaging over time. Type threes, although 50% of them are cancerous, we usually still monitor those. And I'll talk about why in a second. Type fours, whether it is monitored or treated, depends on the age of the patient and their overall health. I would also point out here that biopsy of cysts in the kidney is usually not done. Now, what about the size? It's important to understand size is not part of the classification system. So we don't really care if the cysts are growing over time. We worry about complexity. Do they look more complicated? So again, we're not worried about growth of the cyst itself unless solid parts within the cyst are growing. That we would care about. Now, the good news in all of this is even the cancerous cysts tend to be very well-behaved, so to speak. They very rarely spread or cause death. And that's why even for type 3 and 4 these days, for many patients, monitoring might be the best course of action. So to summarize... Cysts are very common, about 1 in 10 people has a cyst. Over age 60, it's about uh, 2 out of 5 people. We care about cysts because the more complicated they are, the higher chance of cancer. So we put them in four categories with a middle category where we follow them over time. Even the type 3s and 4s where cancer can be present tend to be very well behaved and often monitoring is all that's needed. I hope this was helpful to you.